Hi, wrestling fans. Thanks for clicking the Dreaded D. Rose report. On Thursdays, if you didn't catch it, Impact uh, Wrestling undefeated TNA star Crimson. He defeated X Division champion Austin Aries to extend his uh, undefeated streak for about uh, 468 days. After the match, he looks into the camera and says uh, his undefeated streak is way longer than that Goldberg guy. Well, anyway, a fan that's on Goldberg's tweet, Twitter account, I guess, uh, said that joke Crimson uh, basically called you out, Goldberg, on Impact Wrestling. Uh, are you going to take it? Are you? Goldberg responded, who? Huh? Goldberg later retweeted another message from a fan that says, Crimson uh, doesn't phase Goldberg because Goldberg ate chumps like him during his streak every freaking night. Uh, Goldberg uh, also asked what he thought about Ryback uh, with a reader saying he's the, the new Goldberg. And the real Goldberg replied, not exactly. Let's see something else. Anyway, uh, got more on that later. Uh, birthdays, happy birthday to one time CZW champion, uh, I love this name, Egotistical Fantastico, 30 years old and former WWF slash E champion, Tataka, 51 years old and five time PWG tag team champion, Scott Lost, what, I don't know, 32 years old and two, w, two time uh, NWA champion, Dan Severin, which I wonder where he went, 54 years old. Maybe that's where he went, 54. And I remember this guy when he was born. Uh, also, uh, today would have been the birthday of three-time NWA world champion, Bill, Wild Bill Longson. He would have been 116 years old. TNA President Dixie Carter, he, she announced on Twitter this morning that Intercontinental Champion, believe it or not, Christian is gonna be appearing at TNA Slammiversary this weekend on a plane heading to Dallas uh, for a very big pay-per-view weekend. She says, uh, very excited, uh, Christian for peeps is joining us for uh, the night. He's one of my favorites. And when TNA allowed Ric Flair to appear, if you remember over at the WWE Hall of Fame ceremony earlier this year, it was rumored that uh, in return, TNA requested that Christian do a sit-down interview with TNA. That footage is gonna be used for future TNA DVDs. What's, that's great. And it's unknown whether Christian is going to be featured on camera this Sunday on Slammiversary or will, he'll, uh, or will he just do a film interview and they'll play the replay of it. Uh, don't know whether he's got a show or not. Dixie, Dixie Carter's announcement could be a sign that uh, Christian will be the first one announced at WWE Hall of Fame, or rather uh, TNA's Hall of Fame at the pay-per-view. Ah, just a little thought. Uh, WWE World Heavyweight Champion Sheamus spoke to the Worcester uh, Times, uh, County Times this weekend to promote uh, Saturday night, uh, uh, Saturday's main event, uh, SmackDown, uh, in the uh, Wimco Youth uh, and Civic Center of Salisbury, Maryland. Uh, amongst some of the topics, Sheamus uh, talked about his training. And he says, I don't train in the ring much anymore because uh, what we do, so many events and things, it's just easy to stay in ring condition. Outside the ring, he says, I usually do some uh, cardio, extensive cardio, five or six days a week, and a lot of weightlifting and Olympic lifts, uh, also about five days a week. Says it's important to get rest uh, for your body as well, and I get a lot of rest for my body. So I'm way ahead of the game on that, I think. So uh, I get much rest as I can. If I feel tired, I allow myself uh, to take a day off because rest and recovery is as important as training. I should be in hellacious shape right now. Former WWE executive, you do remember uh, Shane McMahon? He was in New York City this morning, Friday morning, and rang the opening bell for the NASDAQ Stock Exchange at Times Square. I wonder why? Well, Shane's wife, and uh, as well as uh, his parents, Vince and Linda was there. Uh, oh, uh, hell, where's my, uh, I got the rest of it somewhere. Anyway, he's got a, uh, I've lost my, my place on this. I'll come back to Vince, I mean, uh, Shane McMahon's deal. Uh, anyway, Austin Aries, Kurt Angle, Velvet Sky is gonna be appearing at Direct Auto Insurance, uh, South Carolina, Charleston, South Carolina's uh, July 6th. 
And a match pitting Angelina Lowe against ODB is featured match on this week's episode TNA Explosion on Challenge. And with the arrival of Brooke Hogan into TNA, uh, Brooke Adams' ring name has been reverted back to Miss Tessmacher. She uh, can't have uh, two Brooks running around in there. She uh, has been announced as Miss Tessmacher on Thursday's Impact Wrestling and uh, Impact.com as the name advertised for her Women's Knockout Championship against Gail Kim at Slammiversary. Uh, I'm going to have to look up at Shane McMahon. Let's <laughs> fill you in on that. Anyway, former WWE champion Chris Masters, believe it or not. Uh, remember the guy who used to do this all the time? To, anyway. Uh, he did a dark match prior to, to uh, live impact taping down in Orlando. Uh, official match listing uh, for upcoming WWE DVD Best of Falls Count Anywhere matches and Blu-ray has been released. Uh, you can view the complete listing on there. I've I don't really want to go through all of it. Hosted by uh, Mick Foley, the collection will feature matches spanning 30 years from WWE, NWA, WCW, ECW, and uh, it's going to be released June 26th. Uh, what, two weeks? Something like that. Thursday night's final FCW TV taping at their current location is highly anticipated match between Dean Ambrose and William Regal. Ended in a no contest during uh, the referee's stoppage. During the match, Ambrose caused Regal to uh, bleed from the head and officials stopped the match. I don't know how he did that, but Ambrose flipped out and attacked the referees and the ref wrestlers uh, had to come in and help Regal and then he applied Regal's uh, Regal stretch uh, hold on him and Regal finally got free. He applauded Ambrose uh, who proceeded to knock him out with a knee tremor move. Oh well. Uh, the war between words of uh, Crimson and Goldberg is still going on, too. This is a later update. To recap. Uh, I, I ain't going to recap. Anyway, uh, Goldberg said he eats chumps and all this. And uh, I don't know what they're up to. But anyway, during last night's uh, impact taping, uh, you know, Christian continued to uh, taunt him. And uh, I don't know why this is on here fast. He said, oh, Goldberg, this was a follow-up. Goldberg said, he can meet me at my gym. Uh... I don't know what the name of the gym is. That Jan Palung sparring M or Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 9 a.m. He said, "My advice to Crimson: bring headgear and an insurance card." <laughs> anyway, Vince McMahon is now or Shane McMahon is now the CEO of U On Demand Holdings Incorporated, uh, one of the top video on demand and pay per view providers in China. Uh, you on demand went public and joined the Nasdaq Stock Exchange May 30th. That's why he was over there. Extreme uh, Championship Wrestling icon Tommy Dreamer is the latest wrestler to be added to WWE.com alumni section. WWE is looking back at the ECW Originals career with photos and videos of Dreamer and ECW and WWE. Dreamer previously uh, was featured in a section after competing in his final WWE match in December 2009 but was removed on his arrival at TNA. Uh, that was called a uh, brain fart. I'm doing that crap. Anyway, he has since been uh, departed from TNA and now competes for various independent leagues to let you know where he's at. And former uh, WWE star Lance Storm asked uh, via Twitter whether he would ever wrestle CM Punk. He responded, I doubt it will happen, but I'd be open for it. I like to... Uh, uh, Lance Storm, but he was true with no personality at all. Anyway, the official uh, website for Florida Championship Wrestling has removed Eli Cottonwood from their uh, roster, which would indicate he's probably been released from the developmental contract. Cottonwood appeared as a contestant on the second uh, season of NXT with John Morrison as, as his mentor. Uh, he was the second contestant to be eliminated from the program following Titus O'Neil. And he returned to Florida Championship Wrestling where he was largely appeared as a bodyguard role for various people. But uh, if you remember him, he was either seven foot or seven one, something like that, and was just odd looking. He was odd, worse than me, just odd. I don't know what it was. It just kind of took his head, did his head this, kind of creepy. Kind of like, oh, anyway. 
Thanks for clicking, you guys. I gotta go.